Creating a lab session for your students to take is a two-step process that's done through the Nanslo scheduling system. After logging into the scheduling system, you may choose to use an existing activity or to create a new one. An activity is basically the association between a node where the equipment is located and the type of, of equipment that has been selected for that activity. In this case, for example, an air track is the primary piece of equipment and the electromagnet uh, is the secondary piece of equipment. You could also select from all of the other types of primary pieces of equipment that are located at this particular node. So I might choose a microscope and then a particular slide set to use in an activity. And after giving the activity its name and indicating how long that activity should take based on the procedure that I want to use, then I can add that event. Any procedure that is appropriate for the equipment selected can be used, but Nanzo also has lab procedures available for all of the equipment that we have in our lab. Once an activity has been selected or created, then a session is set up using that activity. First, a node is selected. Next, one of the pre-built activities is selected to be used. And a course that will be associated with this activity is also selected. The courses can be entered through a different set of menu choices. The total number of students in the course that will be using this, act, this session uh, is entered here. It's best to overestimate the number of students if the exact number is not known. And after that, the group size is selected, which can vary from one up to the maximum number of students per piece of equipment that the node can accommodate. The next screen has options to uh, enter an administrative contact to receive notifications of the lab session, um, faculty also to receive notification of the lab session, and the start and end date that you want that session to um, be offered for. So for example, um, it might be offered for the 24th through the 28th of February. In the future, there will be some logic built into this page, which assists the instructor in choosing the optimum time period to um, schedule for their activity based on the number of students and the number of pieces of equipment that are available. The start and stop time is the time that the lab will start each day and the time that it will end each day. So if this lab is going to run from Monday through Thursday, it will start at 4 p.m. and end at 2 p.m. Um, the time frame for the lab activity uh, has been already defined on the activity page. So if it's a two hour period, then those two hour periods will be, will be scheduled starting at 4 p.m. and ending at 10. The announced date is when that will appear uh, on the schedule. And then there is a pin code that's randomly generated by the system. This allows students to register for this particular lab session. 
In the next video, we'll take a look at what the student will do in order to sign up for a specific date and time to do this lab activity.